Today I'm going to show you how to use Texture Paint to make any selection in Geometry Nodes. You will see the power of this technique. So, let's see. So, let's do everything and start practicing with a simple plane. Let's make it bigger, something like 6 meters. And first of all, we need to paint the surface, the material, create a texture in this object. So, to paint any object, what we have to do is to go in Texture Paint. By the way, I have a full tutorial explaining how to paint objects and giving you more information about all the tools. Today I'm just going to focus in the basic tools because the important thing is how to send this information to Geometry Note. So if you want to learn more about how to paint or you have any question, I recommend you to watch this tutorial. So why is ping? It's ping because it's telling you that there is not any texture. So if you try to click and paint, you are not going to paint. To paint, first of all, we need to add a texture here. A texture, let's add a texture, base color. And here we're going to select the base color. For example, I want black. And let's select add. So now we have a texture. And here we can see the UV map, the object flat. We can paint here, clicking and dragging, as you can see, or I can do it here. Perfect. Now, let's do a pattern, for example, let's do something like this. And now I want to use this information, this design of black and white, as a selection, as a mask in any geometry node. So, how I can send this information to geometry nodes? Let's go to geometry nodes. Let's select this view to see the pattern. I'm going to hide everything and let's create a new profile. So, for example, I'm going to close this because today we don't need it. Let's use distribute points on faces. Because maybe what I want is to distribute points, but only what is white. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. I'm going to use join geometry so we can see again the design. Okay, so my objective is to only at points where is white. So we can use the selection socket, like in any node. However, how we use this information, the UV map, there is two ways to use it. The first one is to use image texture. Always we have to use an image texture, this is very really important. And here you have to select the UV map that you created, this one that has this design. Okay, now I need to Connect this in a socket to receive this information. So to do this, I need to connect vector here. And now let's go to the geometry nodes modifier here. And you will see that we have the information of the vector here. However, we don't want that. You have to click here. And we want to create an attribute to read the UV map. But as you can see, by default, we always have this UV map attribute. So just click here, and now this node is reading, this socket is sending the information of the UV map, the location, to this image texture that we selected. So we can use this as a selection. We can close this. And as you can see, this is a selection, and this is a color. So we can use the information of black and white. Remember, black is zero, white is one. To do selection, for example, with greater than or less than. So let's use, for example, mm, less than. And what I want is to select, actually what I want is greater than. Because if black is zero, I want to select what is greater than zero. That means white. So let's select float and connect this here. And now it should work, but it's not working, as you can see, because this mesh is not so divided. So we don't have too many polygons. So let's subdivide this mesh, because if not, if we don't have too many faces, we cannot work. Let's add more faces, something like that. Let me check. Okay, perfect. So before, after. Now that we have a lot of faces, 
we can use this again. Select zero. As you can see, now it's filtering with the UV map. We are making a selection and saying select the values that are greater than zero. Remember, black is zero, white is one, and in the middle, gray is values between zero and one. So, what we are saying right now is select everything that is greater than zero. That means white. That's why we see points where I paint with white. If you want deposit, select less than. And you need to increase a little bit. And now we don't have any point in the white zone. I'm going to leave it like before. Greater than. And select zero. So, thanks to this, we are reading the information of the UV map. And we're using this information as a selection in this node. But you can use it in any node, not only in these three points and faces. But I want to show you this power, because now what I can do maybe at one point here, and what I can do is to come back here and say, okay, I want points here. So let's paint with white. And as you can see, where I paint, I'm adding points. If I want to change the color here, if you press Ctrl, you're going to select the second color. With Ctrl, I'm painting. So I can delete the white. And in theory, this should work. I don't know why it's not working right now. Maybe I need to update this. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, maybe sometimes you paint, but it's not poor black, so I recommend you to increase a little bit and not select just zero, as you can see. But you get it there, right? So thanks to this selection in Geometry Notes, now I can paint and I can decide where something is going to happen with a note. So this is really powerful. If you don't want to use this, there is another way to do it faster. Instead of connecting the vector here and writing this, there is a faster way. So I'm going to delete this, press N, go here, select this, go in group and delete this socket. So to do it faster, the only thing you have to do is to use a name attribute because the attribute by default is already created. So just use a name attribute, really important in vector, and reuse UV map. Remember that by default, this is already created. So if you connect it like this, it's already working, as you can see. So we don't have to connect it here. But I show you how to connect it here, so you know both ways. But for me, this way is faster. So let's use this, for example, in another node. Let's delete this. And let's do, for example, something like delete. Delete geometry. Let's connect it here. And let's connect it in selection. And in theory, this should work. Let me see. Ah, of course, because we are showing both geometry at the same time. So let's disconnect this. And now, as you can see, where is greater than zero, so white is being delayed. And I can do the poside. Less than. Or if you want, what you can do also is to use a color ramp and add it here and push a bit the colors and sometimes it will change a bit. Or you can flip the colors if you want the opposite and you don't know how to use this. Just like here, flip colors. I recommend you to push this a little bit because when it's gray, you won't have any delete. I'll just select here constant. Or you can play with this if you want. Let me select less than. Okay, I think I did wrong now. Greater than. As you can see, sometimes maybe you make a mess. So I think it's easier only to use this because sometimes if you use color RAM, you get confused and just use less than or greater than and tweak the values. But as you can see, we're using the paint, the texture paint, to apply modifications. Maybe if you want to decrease 
the brush, press F and move left or right. And click again to confirm. So maybe I want to delete here. So I'm going to paint this. And I'm going to delete this part. Boom. As you can see, it's really easy to make selections with paint. Of course, this depends on the resolution of the geometry node. If I want more resolution, then I need to subdivide more the mesh. And as you can see, I think maximum is six. But you get the idea how to use the texture paint brush to create selections. And remember, you can apply this to any node that have a selection. More tricks I want to tell you is that I'm restarting again the pattern. First of all, you don't have to go always here to do a design or any change and then come back to geometry nodes. I'm going to undo this with Ctrl Z. What you can do, as you can see now, I have the tools here. Why? Because by default you have object mode. But in this panel, you can select texture paint. So now you have the brush and all the tools. So I can paint here. And I can say, mm, I want to do something like this. So I don't have to go here. Remember, you can select this panel, this window here. And when you're done, just click here. Another thing I want to tell you is that you don't have to show always the colors of the UV map, like black and white. What you can do is to add another material, but maintaining the selection. So let's use, for example, let's go to the shader. Let's open this. This is the texture that we are painting. You can call this texture paint. And let's create a new material. And let's call this, this one, let's call blue. So this one will be blue. And let's select blue. And now here I can select the blue one. So in any moment, I can project any other color, any other texture. But I can come back here and continue painting because I'm using the texture that we're using here. It's really important to understand. Maybe you don't see the brush when you paint. That's the negative part, but you can apply any change with another material. And if you have any problem, what you can do is to create so instead of material, because maybe you have material and you try to click and it's not working, you're like, mm, what's going on here? I try to paint, but it's not working. Click here and select single image. And select the image that we created before, the UV map. So now it's using the UV map. The difference between material and single image. So with single image, I can paint in real time with another material. And if you want to see the same material, then use the same material. Now I recommend you to practice with different objects and different nodes. Like before, one of the easiest ones to understand is the stroke points on faces. And remember, you can go here. I'm going to select white and start painting. So for example, I want to add here points, I'm going to press, and wherever I paint, I can add points. And if you want to clean your mesh, your texture, what you can do is to select this, the fill. And for example, if I want to restart, I'm going to paint everything black. So I can change the color here and set black, or remember, if I press Ctrl and this tool, I'm going to fill everything black at once. One, two, three. So I can restart again with the pencil in any part I want. So now it's your turn to practice with different notes. And if you like this video, please give a like, subscribe, and remember you can do this project and many more on my pattern. And see you in the next video.